The DDGX program, also known as the Next Generation Guided Missile Destroyer program, is a major initiative of the United States Navy aimed at developing a new class of advanced guided missile destroyers. The primary goal of the program is to replace the aging Arleigh Burke class destroyers after the Zumwalt class failed to meet the Navy's expectations due to a combination of factors. Featuring an upgraded hull and integrated power system, the service's next-generation guided missile destroyer will maximize design efficiency and interoperability. The DDGX program has its roots in the early 2000s when the U.S. Navy began exploring options for the next generation of guided missile destroyers. The program was officially launched in 2020 with the goal of developing a new class of destroyer that would incorporate the latest in proven advanced technologies and be capable of performing a wide range of missions, including air defense, but also anti-submarine and strike warfare. The program was driven by a growing need for a more capable and flexible fleet, as well as the changing security environment and emerging threats, such as the proliferation of long-range missiles. Navy leaders have stated that their objective is to obtain the first DDGX in 2030 and add the new ship to the fleet as early as 2034. General Dynamics and Huntington Ingalls were awarded contracts to conduct initial design work, and the Navy approved the DDGX major features in December of 2020. Various hull configurations are currently undergoing testing, including an angular hull form that was presented in August 2022. With a length of approximately 180 meters and a beam of 25 meters, this hull configuration has a displacement of approximately 14,000 tons, a conventional bow, and a superstructure similar to the Zumwalt class destroyer. Future vessels in this class could potentially be lengthened using a payload module to enhance their capabilities. The DDGX hull design draws from both the Arleigh Burke and Zumwalt designs, with a focus on accommodating larger missile launch systems, improved survivability, and sufficient space, weight, power, and margins for future growth. The propulsion system of the DDGX will feature a Next Generation Integrated Power System, or IPS, which is a modern integrated turboelectric drive technology similar to the system used on the Zumwalt-class destroyers. The use of the Next Gen IPS is expected to provide the DDGX with a 50% greater range, a 25% reduction in fuel burn, and a 120% increase in time on station compared to current U.S. Navy destroyers. The IPS works by utilizing electrical power generated by gas turbines to drive the ship's propellers, allowing for more efficient power generation and distribution. The system also provides greater flexibility and maneuverability, as the electric power generated can be redirected to other systems as needed, such as weapons and sensors. With its enhanced range and improved fuel efficiency, the DDGX will be able to operate for longer periods of time, providing greater operational flexibility. The DDGX will incorporate a range of advanced sensors and processing systems to enhance its combat capabilities. These will include the new AN SPY 6 3D radar, which is capable of detecting and tracking multiple targets at long ranges. The ANSP Q9 surface search and fire control radar and the ANSP G62 fire control radar will provide the new destroyer with enhanced situational awareness and target identification capabilities. The DDGX will feature a range of advanced armament systems, such as a hypersonic missile system capable of engaging targets at speeds exceeding Mach 5, and a new gun system that can fire hypervelocity projectiles, adding another layer of firepower to its arsenal. The latest version of the SM-6 missile, with a range of over 400 kilometers, along with the SM-3 Block II missile, will provide the destroyer with ballistic missile defense capabilities. For close-in defense against airborne threats, the DDGX will have two 21-cell RIM-116 rolling airframe missile launchers. The ship may also potentially be equipped with 150 or 600 kilowatts lasers in the future, providing a powerful new weapon for engaging a range of threats, including UAVs and even drone swarms. The new DDGX destroyer boasts an impressive array of sensors and armament, but to ensure reliability and effectiveness, the ship will integrate only mature and proven technologies. A lesson learned from the Zumwalt class destroyer.
New tech will be implemented when fully tested and ready for deployment, minimizing potential issues and keeping the project within budget and on schedule. But as of November 2022, the estimated cost of each ship sits above $3 billion, making it one of the most expensive surface combatants in the world. While the Navy plans to build at least 10 ships, it is unclear whether the program will be able to continue at this cost. As a result, it is likely that the Navy will continue to evaluate the program's costs and capabilities in the coming years to determine the future of the DDGX program. What do you think? Would you like to see this program succeed? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.